starting to see some signs of Japanese beetles. You can see I've got a Japanese beetle trap hanging over there. It's actually been there since last year. I just never took them down. And I know they have like some sort of an attractant that's supposed to attract them. But I even left the dead beetles in there. And guess what I found out? They are still working. So they must be attracted to the scent of the, either the dead beetles or maybe just the collar. We're going to check this one. We'll see if it's the same way. You can actually see the uh, collar differentiation there. It's actually all the dead beetles in that bag. And uh, let's look down here and see. Oh, I see at least one live one in there. Now, how can I get it where you guys can see? Let's turn this this way. Can you guys see him? I can't tell if you can see in there or not. Yep, you see him down there. So, uh, they're still working. Now, I know you're not supposed to have them this close to your garden, but they was literally destroying my garden last year. So, I put two up by the garden. There's one here at this post, and there's one down there. Let's go down and see if that one's got any in it. There's actually another one right up there in front of my truck that's at the end of the orchard. And again, you're not supposed to put them that close to your garden, but it seemed to be pretty effective doing it that way. And these things work great. Um, I've told a lot of people about these. They're made by Rescue. They're called Japanese beetle traps. Now, I also put down the milky spore stuff. I don't see any live ones in this one yet. But we'll give it a couple weeks and see what happens. And uh, so anyways, Japanese beetle can destroy your garden or your orchard in a matter of days. So I want to have them protected. Um, last year I used a combination of these traps and I also put down milky spores. Now this time last year I could count hundreds of beetles on my plants. And then I put the traps up and you know they kind of went away. And what made me think to check those traps is, well, I had hundreds last year, and I've seen like one or two this year, so where are they all going? And I was like, oh, the traps are still hung up. I should go look. And uh, sure enough, the first trap I checked had, you know, five or ten live ones in it. So I was like, maybe I should start looking at some of these other traps, and that's kind of how we got to where we're at now. So the... Uh, Trees still look good. I don't see any there yet. They really like the plums. Oh, I see one right there. So that's what they look like. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit better. Oh, he flew away. He's like, I know that guy. I remember his scent. But you know, the leaf damage to the trees is not that bad and I still don't see a lot of them let's check the uh, peaches I probably really should be inside but usually if the trees on the outer part that I can actually see really good like these peaches if they're not here and if they're not on that end plum my apples I mean, if they're out, they're not out in numbers yet. Bees are being like really energetic today for some reason. I thought there was some, uh, I thought there was some, um, other bees robbing the hive, but I stood there and watched them for several minutes and that doesn't appear to be the case. I don't see any on my cherries, nothing on the goji berries. You know, I'm already here. I might as well go ahead and walk down the outside. I've got this fence kind of moved out of the way. Because I'm doing some work yet. On the spiral herb garden. Raspberry plants. Don't see any on there. Uh, because the beehives are so close to my apple trees. Some of them got rust this year. And I couldn't really treat for it. Other than using neem oil. Because the beehives are literally right there. Now, basically it's the 
all the early leaves and then all the new leaves don't have rust so that tells me other than looking unsightly it's going to be okay um, and that happened to several you can kind of see on this apple tree here there's cedar rust damage there but all the new leaves are fine um, this is actually a younger tree and I was really worried about it cedar rust there but the new leaves also fine so back to the peaches I really need to do some heavy pruning on this sucker it like exploded in growth this year the newest peach is this one don't see any Japanese beetles on it some sort of a I planted a wildflower mix in all these beds a couple years ago and uh, the wildflower mix still has flowers blooming like all of the uh, what are those called Johnny jump up or something like everywhere so anyways back to the rescue traps I got some deer damage on this one here but that's not Japanese beetle damage yeah this time last year there was hundreds on each tree and this time this year the trees look good Oh, that kind of looks like some uh, blight. It's only on that one leaf. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Not taking any chances. It might actually be sunburnt too. No, well, that's kind of hard to tell. Blight or sunburn? Blight's usually really dark black. That's kind of got some brown in it. I pulled it. It's going to go in the trash away from all my fruit trees. Because blight is something that will wipe them out quick. Yeah, I'm just not seeing like a large population of Japanese beetles. But I'm seeing a lot in the traps left over from last year and all i did was i left the old dead japanese beetles in there so uh that's perfect that's money saved right anyways i will link in the description below the amazon page where i bought this from i bought them in a pack of six um depending on the size of your property you might only need one or two but in all honesty when you look at it, it's like twenty dollars for one or forty dollars for six you know don't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's the best deal and that's kind of the way i buy everything is in, i buy in volume and large amounts i've still got uh, i think two left over oh here's another one up here i didn't check plus i kind of need to look at the uh blackberries don't see any on the first few Is that a live one? So, uh, I think that between the milky spores, though, and the traps, it seems like the number is reduced drastically. And I guess one thing that I should say also is a lot of people said, well, if you use the traps, all you're doing is inviting them in from your neighbor's properties. But, you know, I think that that... It's still better than, you know, get rid of them off the neighbor's property too. Who cares? You're still helping your fruits and vegetables. If you eradicate them all, you're helping everybody. So, you know, put the traps up. Do the milky spores. I'm going to link to both. The milky spores is a natural, pet safe, livestock safe, animal safe, organic way to treat Japanese beetles for 20 years. All you do is you apply it like a fertilizer and like a spreader. You don't even have to work it into the ground. It's organic, it goes into the ground, kills the grubs, so that way they can't reemerge as beetles the next year. And like I said, last year my plums had hundreds of Japanese beetles on them at the end of June, first part of July. I probably have pictures on my Instagram. I'll see if I can find a few. 
and I'll try to find out the exact time that I put these traps up last year but either way they're still working so I'm just gonna leave them up just as they are I still have two that are fresh uh, have never been used in the shed and uh, if these seem like they're not doing a very good job or if you know it seems like it's not controlling them I'll hang them too but those two things will definitely get rid of your Japanese beetles link to below and I'll link to a video also that I think I did last year on these.